Copy. Houston, copy. Reporting from Chicago, Laptop Nuts headquarters. And today I would love to talk about my personally favorite gaming brand, which is Alienware. This machine, I mean, they're well known all over the world for their stylish, really that sexy look, kind of out of this world with nice touch of LEDs throughout the body. And even I remember from the very first generations where they had those bulky, huge metal laptops, especially the 17 or 18 inch one, you can probably kill somebody with that or you can stop a bullet with that until today where we are getting what the 13th generation is already out where they still can see the actual alienware touch on them they never really change much and that's why i really love them so much look at this Ugh! check this out this is the aurora r10 desktop and even Whenever you look at this guy here, it looks very similar. You still can notice that. You can tell right away that this is the Alienware for their very nice and sexy, sleek look. Uh, check this one out. How about this guy here? Obviously, it looks a little bit different, but still, you can actually see the difference and you can actually see how Alienware makes its nice, touch. So today I would like to talk about Alienware X17 R2 with an Intel Core processor and uh, Alienware M17 R5 with an AMD processor. And now for past few years since the AMD got enough balls and start producing finally some decent processors, we can actually start comparing them. However, again, I think still the AMD laptops, they are one step lower compared to the Intel series. And I will tell you a little bit later why. But I will start with this guy here. So this machine comes with either Ryzen 7 or Ryzen 9 sixth generation processor it has a quite a few different variations and that's the beauty about the alienware they actually giving you a lot of options to choose from for the upgrades so uh, the machine comes with uh, quite a few different graphics card it starts anywhere from rtx 3060 and they go all the way to rtx 3080 there's a couple options to go with the rx radeon uh, graphics card as well which you only have uh, that option with AMD series laptops. They don't give you an options for the Intel. And there's quite a few options for the screen to choose from. You can go anywhere from FHD and there's a tons of options there. Uh, you can go up to 4K. The touch screen option is not available, unfortunately. And tons of uh, options to upgrade in terms of memory, RAM, and storage. The laptop can go with up to 64 gig of memory RAM, DDR5, and actually you can go up to eight terabytes of storage. Uh, the machine has a two slots available. So in terms of visual look, Besides, I, I already mentioned that the laptop is absolutely beautiful and their design, especially with their uh, LEDs on the sides, it looks absolutely amazing and very slim. A few things that I don't like personally is uh, obviously the touchpad is fairly small compared to all modern newer generation gaming laptops that their, you know, their touchpads, they're like huge. You can play football on them but this and I mean it's pretty small obviously I understand some people don't even use them uh, they use like the, the external mouse but still I think it would be a good idea to put larger touchpad RGB keyboard nothing really special there but the biggest problem I think what Alienware has is those um, those uh, pores for the ventilation and the the reason why i'm saying is a the really big problem because throughout the time 
they collect shit load of dust so your laptop always look nasty and it's very actually difficult to remove even to blow things out because when you start blowing it out all the dust goes inside of the laptops then you have to take it apart and clean it more it's just a big hustle so i would probably if i would be the designer i would probably make this part more solid and as you can see here they even add uh, more registers for the speakers and even this laptop is not even a year and you already can see bunch of dust on it and it's just very very difficult to remove so now i'm gonna jump to Alienware X17R2. So this machine comes with uh, it either Core i7 or Core i9, 12th generation processor, and it, it can go anywhere from 3060 all the way to 3080 Ti graphics card. So you can go up to 64 gigabyte of memory RAM, DDR5, and the manufacturer actually claims that you can go up to four terabytes of storage which kind of strange so for, with this one you can go up to eight terabyte and this one you can go up to four terabyte very weird but as you can see the both laptops they were manufactured about the same time but uh, there is a clear difference in the design same kind of tiny teeny touchpad here again a uh, little i think they can do a little better job on that uh, again, very, very big trouble, those cooling registers and the speaker registers because they just collecting shitload of dust. Same story for the LCD screen, so you can go uh, anywhere from FHD all the way to 4K. Um, front webcam, uh, it has just the basic uh, HD uh, resolution. In terms of performance, I think they're one of the pioneers in the gaming world and their machines Surprisingly, they always holding a pretty good value. And last but not least, uh, ports. I always would like to talk about ports because they are very convenient. So surprisingly, X17 R2 series has uh, quite a few ports more compared to the AMD version here. So X17 R2 has a Thunderbolt 4, it has a display port, and it has a SD card reader port, which this version is missing. I don't know why, but I think it's always good to have an extra ports, but it is what it is, I guess. So in terms of cooling, the X17 R2 has a four cooling fans versus the M17 R5 has a two cooling fans. So I guess we'll see how everything looks once we take them apart. The keyboard dis uh, difference is mechanical versus island, but I think the mechanical uh, keyboard works much better and more convenient. In terms of the battery, for uh, X17 R2 there is only one battery option available and for M17 R5 Alienware actually gives two options. You can go either 64 or up to 97, where this guy has 87 watt. Even though both laptops have about the same specs, the AMD version is just a hair heavier uh, i would probably say about two three hundred grams which is less than a pound however the thickness uh, i would say eighth of an inch thicker the amd version versus the intel now as usual i would like to take those bad boys apart to see how they differ from each other again what can we upgrade what can we replace let's go all right my people as usual we're gonna be starting from the bottom side and carefully remove the bottom case so there uh, the good part is that there are no hidden screws under any rubber feet so you don't need to take them off all screws are exposed it's just a basic uh, micro phillips so any screwdriver with a first or second caliber will work just fine once we pull the bottom case out we would be able to see what happening inside well, what we got here, so looks like there are four cooling fans. All the external ports are located on the motherboard directly. Another very important part that I want to mention, as you can see, the Wi-Fi card is actually built in to the motherboard, which is kind of bad thing to have because it's, it would be hell to replace it. But it is what it is. So. Uh, this machine came actually with a 64 gig of DDR5 memory RAM. There are two 
slots for SSD drives. So uh, you can, again, based on the manufacturer, it says that you can go up to four terabytes, but I have a feeling that you probably can't even go more than that. So once we remove the bottom case from the second machine, which is M. 17R5 with the AMD Ryzen processor, we can clearly see now that even though externally both machines look pretty similar, internally they are quite a bit different. I mean, obviously they do have both of them have uh, two memory RAM slots and two SSD slots for, for an upgrade. The motherboards are completely different. So in my personal opinion, the uh, Ryzen series laptop, it's actually designed much more repair friendly, I would say, because on the right side there are two USB ports and on the left side there's a VLAN port. Both of them, they come with a daughter board, so you, you can actually replace them where all the ports on X17R2 are located on the rear side of the laptop and they directly soldier to the motherboard. Also, the best part of the Ryzen series assembly that the actual Wi-Fi card is separate. So you can, if in case it fails, you can actually replace it very easy versus the where in Intel part, it's actually directly soldered to the motherboard, which is kind of very, very big struggle. So if in case it fails, most likely you would have to have some kind of adapter or very expensive replacements. Other than that, um, there are two cooling fans on the Ryzen series versus four cooling fans on the Intel series, even though they both have the same graphics card. So I'm guessing the Ryzen processor just uh, releases a lot less heat. That's maybe why they put uh, only two cooling fans. Anyhow, uh, let me know what you guys think uh, in the comments. Thank you very much for watching. Peace and love to everybody.